Hey everybody, today I'm going to reanalyze NVIDIA. So here I am on TradingView. Um, TradingView, and we're going to look at the five year chart. Obviously, straight up and to the right, NVIDIA has been going on a run lately. Uh, it's a $2.2 trillion company, so very, very large, bigger than Google. Uh, price to earnings ratio of 73 for the last 12 months, but uh, forward looking, it should be a lot lower than that. Um, we'll see quarterly. Their growth has just exploded in the last three quarters. Let's check out their financials, statements, and their annual revenue growth. And here's what I want to check. Uh, let me zoom this in a little bit um, if I can find it. Yeah, okay. So total revenue of $9 billion, and then it's grown to $60 billion in about six years. Looks like from 2017 to 2019, uh, or actually 2018 into 2019, it actually dropped. And then from 2021 into 2022, it stayed exactly the same in terms of revenue. So I think that this is a cycl cyclical business where uh, once people get their chips, they don't need as many. Um, I know that this boom right here happened because of the Bitcoin price. And we're probably having a similar thing happen with the Bitcoin price, but also it's because there are new AI chips that their revenue has just exploded in the last three quarters. You can see 265% um, over their last Q4 quarter of $6.5 billion. Uh, their earnings as well have been insane. They've got crazy profit margins. So I don't know if that's going to continue or if that's just because they can charge a lot for their, their chips because their chips are highly desired uh at least for now uh they've got negative 14 or negative 15 billion in debt so their balance sheet looks amazing uh cash flow is going to follow their earnings pretty closely 27 billion in cash flow and their income statement they had 29 billion in income yeah 29.7 billion in income all right, let's take a look at the uh, analyst estimates. So here we have an average estimate of 24.5 for next year. Or, well, it's basically for the full year this year. And then into the, the following year, they expect to jump up to about $30 a share, which is like a 20% increase, I think, 22% increase or so. Then their revenue estimate, 102 billion for their, this year, full year, and then, or no, their average estimate right here, 110 billion up to 133 billion. So that's a 20% increase or 21% increase. Um, one other thing I want to note is look at how wildly different these low and high estimates are. We have 107 billion for the low estimate and 199 billion for the high estimate, which. Uh, so there, there is not much of a consensus as to where this, this company can go in terms of revenue. Some people think that it's going to be cyclical, where they won't be able to grow revenue. And some people think that this AI craze is just going to continue into next year and the year after that. So we'll see who's right on that. Uh, I tend to lean into the camp that this is a cyclical business and that they won't be able to continue growing revenues like they have, um, especially being at a $2.2 trillion company already. It seems like it may be difficult to grow from here. Here I have the spreadsheet or the discounted cash flow model. I put in their, their earnings estimate, the revenue estimate for next year. Um, nine billion in buybacks. Uh, you can see that in their cash flow statement um, that they've done nine billion in buybacks uh, the year before. So I kind of expect that moving forward. They might do a little bit more. Uh, net debt, negative 15 billion. Discount rate of 10% because I want the 10% return on all my stocks. Now, an exit multiple of 22 because it's a high quality business. I feel like uh, 22 is fair for an exit multiple. Now, in terms of growth, so the earnings growth, I put 22% because that's what the average estimate was. And then after that, down to 15, 12. Um, I actually think that one of these is going to be negative, but uh, I think maybe on average this would be good. 
Um, and in that case, then they're worth seven hundred nineteen dollars a share. In in this, if this case plays out. Um, otherwise, with the discounted earnings model with revenue, uh, they have revenue growth twenty two percent next year, and then, and then oh, based on the average estimate, and then just declining a little bit from there because I don't I don't think that they can sustain growth of twenty percent going for <laughs> going for more than five years or four years. So. Uh, they have de uh, they still have growth, like it's not declining, but it just isn't growing as fast. And then their profit margin as well. Um, I kind of expect competitors come into the space, and their profit margin should probably decline because right now it's at like 50% margins. Or their last quarter, I think they did like 57% margin, so that's pretty insane. Um, I actually think that their margins are going to decline um, down to about 30%. Um, because that's kind of uh, that's kind of what most tech companies are doing is about thirty percent, and so that's where I kind of believe that their their margin is going to go down to in the in the next ten years. And using this model, you can see the fair value of Nvidia is at four hundred eight dollars, um, compared to their price right now of eight hundred seventy eight. You can see that it's highly overvalued at this point. Um, I'm going to be staying away from buying the stock. Um, maybe they do end up growing like uh, 20% every single year com from out com coming. Uh, and in that case, then they probably are a buy at this point. Um, we can maybe even put that in here, 20%. Like, let's say that they just continue growing at 20% because they're insane, and maybe their profit margins stay at 50% the entire time. And using this... Then we could see that their fair value is a thousand fifty. Um, I think that this is highly unlikely, but uh, but you guys might not think so. So I don't know. It's up to you. I I'm gonna be staying away personally. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, just leave them in the comments. I also leave this in the description for you guys to try out. You can use my spreadsheet completely free. Um, it just uses Google Finance, so I just made this without any like outside software and uh yeah hit that like button if you like the video and hit that subscribe button because i'm coming out with new videos like this every single day so uh yeah see you in the next one